You know, here's the thing, man. A lot of people today are very, very fake and phony. And the reason why they're fake and phony is because they're trying too hard to be liked and accepted. You know, straight up, man. People that are loved by everybody, everybody likes them, everybody approves of them, everybody, you know, rocks with them. You know, those be the people, bro, that are the most fake. Those are the most fakest people, hands down. You see, when everybody loves you, that means you're doing something wrong. Don't think because some everybody loves you, everybody likes you, that, that, that means you're doing everything right. No. You got to have a balance in life. You can have people that love you and hate you. But if everybody hates you and persecutes you, like how they did the Messiah, they persecute the Messiah. They hate it. Christ. He was the most hated man. But he was righteous. He was serving the Most High. You know? But because he was a righteous man, everybody hated him. And then those that follow Christ, they shall hate you too. They shall persecute you as well. But you got to understand, being persecuted, being hated on, not being loved... You have to learn how to embrace that. There's pain that comes with not being loved, not being well liked, not being well received or approved of. But you have to embrace that pain because you are walking with Christ. That means you're doing something right at the end of the day. Whatever it is that you're doing, the Most High approves of, and He's going to set you in the right direction. Just know you are under His protection. Where when you are hated and you are despised by everybody around you, even in your own in your hometown, your city, your neighborhood, whatever, from your your family, your friends, it don't matter. Understand you are under the protection of Christ. You are shielded. So no so no demonic force, no wicked principalities can have dominion over you because you are protected by the most high. But just know, serving God, it comes with a price. And that price is being hated on. Whatever you do in your life, whether it's a content creator, whether it being an entrepreneur, whether it is being an athlete, being a, a musician, a rapper, whatever, whatever talent you possess, and people know of your talent, just know they're going to hate on you. Just know they're going to despise you. Right? They're going to despise you. You know, when you speak truth... Most of the time, you tell it like it is. You don't sugarcoat nothing. You get straight to the point. You may step on some toes. You may hurt some feelings. But you know what? It is what it is. People got to hear the truth, but they don't want to hear it because they don't like it. It makes them feel uncomfortable inside. It tears away at their skin. It makes their blood boil. Right? Right? But I know that the most fakest people in the world are the ones that everybody loves because they think and they feel like they can do nothing wrong. Those are, those are the people that I would watch out for because they have a lot to hide. They have a lot to, they have this self image that they have to portray this fake, this uh, facade you know what I'm saying? And those be the people that are the most deceivers. They deceive the people into thinking they're they're so good. Into thinking they're so right. But in reality, they're wicked deep down inside. You know what I'm saying? They have a, a, a cold heart deep down. You see, they want people to believe that they're good. They're going to try and deceive the people into thinking that they are good. 
Just like Satan. Satan has tried his best to deceive the people into thinking that he was good. That he was an angel of light, but he's not. He's definitely not that. But I will say, he's done a hell of a job of tricking people. And you wonder why the whole world today is asleep. Why there's a lot of NPCs. Why there's a lot of, you know, bot people. They have no brain, no mind of their own. But when you are someone that is hated by a lot of people. And growing up for me, I was not well liked in, in the school that I went to. From middle school to high school, I was not well liked. It felt like most of the time I was hated. You know, I was mo most of the time I was left alone. Nobody really messed with me like that. Nobody really wanted to be around me. I was an outcast. 100% an outcast. I had to deal with not being well liked. Feeling like I was hated on, persecuted, you know? And I know firsthand what that feels like. For everybody to accept everybody else and they, and they look at you, they don't accept you. They don't validate you. I gotten so used to in my life of not being validated. I had to learn how to go without being validated and accepted by others, by the world. And you see, a lot of chosen ones, whether they realize it or not, the world may reject you first before you start to reject the world. And to be perfectly honest, when the world starts to reject you, that's your cue to reject the world. Everything worldly. You need to reject it because the world rejected you. And that means you are serving God. That means you are one of God's children at the end of the day. That means the Most High is inside of you. He's within you. He's working through you. He's trying to get you out of the world and stop thinking like the world and start moving in the spirit. You know, he made it like that for a reason for you not for you not to fit in. He made it like that for a reason for you to just be this outcast. You know, and I had to learn I had to learn that the hard way. I had to learn that very early in my life to to know that I wasn't going to be keeping the lot a lot of the friends that I made in school. You know what I'm saying? Getting involved in these groups and cliques. I realized it wasn't for me. I realized God was God was trying to pull me away from, you know, being in groups and cliques. It, it really wasn't for me to be in. You know, once I left school, I realized I'm really not supposed to be a part of any groups unless unless it's a God fearing group, unless it's people that follow the most high that are believers that are serving the Messiah. If it ain't that, if it ain't that man, I have nothing to do with that group. I am not involved. I'm not affiliated at all. So I had to learn that my place is not within the world, right? To not think of the world. I'm in this world, but I am not to be of the world. You know, a lot of people that you see around you are, are of the world and they think worldly. For, the, for those people, for those people, they have an easier time fitting, fitting in. You see, when you have an easier time fitting in and people love you, people like you, they accept you, you have to really be concerned about that. You got to look at yourself 
and see that you're doing something wrong. That's not normal for everybody to be liking you. They love you. They all accept you. That's not normal, bro. God. When you have enemies, you had adversary, you have adversity, you have adversity to face, you're gonna have no choice but to give your life to Christ and to serve him. See, that's the path that I eventually came to. When I when I just stopped, I gave up trying to be of the world. I realized, listen, this is not the place for me. This ain't it for me. I tried to fit in. I was one of those. I tried to be, um, to fit. I try to mold myself in, into a place where I didn't belong. And that was a problem. And see, when you do that, when you try to mold yourself into a place that you clearly don't belong in, problems is going to happen. You're going to feel the weight of rejection from people. You're going to feel that negative energy from people. And and guess what? The, the people that don't really care about you, they don't love you, they don't accept you, they don't really like you, they're not going to tell you flat out. They're going to show you by their energy. They're going to show you by the vibes that they give off to you whenever, whenever you're around them. You're going to think everything's all good, everything cool. You know, one day people will be cool with me, next day... It's weird vibes. It's lukewarm energy. All of a sudden, it feels like I did something wrong to them and I didn't do a damn thing to, the, to these people. You know what I'm saying? That's how it goes. One day you're cool with somebody, next day you're not. Out of nowhere. It's just an automatic switch up. And you see... When you're serving God, you cannot tolerate that energy anymore. You can't. I got to a point where, you know, I'm not going to tolerate this fucking energy anymore. I'm not going to tolerate it. Because I know I deserve more. You know what I'm saying? I deserve a lot better than what I'm than what I'm receiving. It forced me to work on myself. It forced me to you know, be isolated. You know, you can't just force yourself to, to fit in. It doesn't work that way. It's either you naturally fit in, you naturally blend in with people, or you don't. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I have to roll solo. I have to. That's just part of me. That's just in me to do that. Naturally, I am a loner. I am not made to walk with a whole bunch of people, with a whole bunch of different energies and different personalities that really don't want the same thing that I want, that don't serve the same God that I serve, and they serve in something else, or they're lukewarm, or they're just, or they're just straight out a devil. You know, listen, I would rather be alone, isolated than to be around people that would influence me to do something that's out of my character. Something that I will never get myself into. Don't be around people. Do not let loneliness people force you to be influenced by a group of people that do not have your best interests at all. Don't let it happen. Do not let loneliness, do not let loneliness be the reason why you end up with people that don't care, that don't love you. End up with people that, that want to see you destroyed, that want to see your downfall and be influenced by a toxic group of individuals that got you doing things that you would, that that you never did before in your life that's completely out of character you know what i'm saying so that's all i really want to say in this video you know
This message got me fired up this morning. Embrace being hated. Embrace being disliked. Embrace being the outcast. Because when everybody likes you, everybody loves you, that means you're doing something wrong. I don't trust that person that's loved by everybody. I wasn't loved by everybody. I'm loved by my mother. I was loved by my grandmother. By few people in my life. But the rest of the world, I go to school. I go around different groups of people. I get around certain environments. It's not the same love. It's not, it's it's no love at all. There's, there's no acceptance. There's no validation. There's nothing. I've, I've always been the odd man out. You know what I'm saying? But the, the, the funny thing is, I never did anything to piss anybody else off. I never did anything to anger anybody. But just the, just the, the presence of me is enough for people to be angered or to be annoyed or bothered. But trust and believe I can feel the energy when, when people do not want me around them. I can feel that energy a mile away. You don't have to say anything to me. I already feel the vibe. I can read it. I can read your energy. I can read your body language. It's not, it's not, it's not that hard. You know? I know when I feel accepted, accept it, and I know when I feel unaccepted. And when I feel unaccepted and I feel unwanted, I'm out. I'm out. Deuces. Peace out. You will never see me ever again. You know what I'm saying? You, you will never see my face ever again. I'm out. I'm not going to be in a place where I'm clearly unwanted. That makes no sense. Makes no sense to me at all. I'm not going to be around people that don't want me around them. That don't like me. No thank you.